Hello class, it is Professor Hatter. I'm just uh, readjusting my bow tie here. It's uh, a Monday afternoon after work. Let's see, I'll do something like that. I'm just coming home from work and it's a nice day outside in Chicago. It's uh, about 42 degrees right now. It's, um, it's only like one jacket weather at this point. So it's really nice outside. I know Major League Hats, he'd be freezing his ass off and 40 degree weather. Anything under 50, I'm sure he'd be like, oh, it's so cold. I get it. I get it. It's all relative. You know, California is a little bit more, uh, a little more privileged to uh, better year round weather, unlike Chicago, where it's just every, every day could be different. So, very uh, good day out. So, I wanted to get some recording done inside. So maybe we'll do a field trip another time. But I wanted to make a quick video. I know I posted this on my Instagram page a while ago, but I wanted to let you guys know that there's been something that's been coming up in my life right now. I've been kind of busy with, and I've um, that's taken uh, priority over the channel. I released a hat history lecture video uh, on uh, Monday, the March 11th, whenever uh, this comes out. So. Um, saying how, oh, I've been busy with other things, like I didn't have time to do a lot of post-production work, fixing it or re-recording, and the reason why is because I am doing something a little cool. I am running for local trustee in my, uh, in my hometown, and, uh, I'm a writing candidate. This is my official yard sign, and, and I already won the race pretty much because... I have my official campaign hat. This is a, uh, a dad hat that I got off of Amazon. My standard uh, process. I got this off of Amazon. It's my, well, the hat. It's, I went through my standard process of uh, customizing my own hat. And I'll share that in a video some other time. And my brother made the logo. I'll put the logo up on the screen in a better lighting, better uh, image. And I'm running for a local uh, village board as a trustee. My, my number one concern is we have some empty parcels. We have some empty vacant uh, storefronts where we could have a very nice hat club store. We would be the first hat club east of the Rocky Mountains. Actually, no, because there's one in New Jersey. And I think there's one in Texas. But we'd be the first true Midwest one. So I would want to bring in Hat Club into Mount Prospect because, because we're a great suburban community. We have about 54,000 people. We're located where the store would go would be by this place called Randhurst Mall. It was one of the first mall areas in America back in 1963. It's been repurposed as like an outdoor mall and it's been kind of going on the decline recently. And although they say, the board says it has low vacancy rating right now, to the naked eye, to a consumer just passing by, it looks a little empty. I think, an, I think a nice hat store would be great for the Randhurst Mall area, to be honest. I haven't contacted them yet, but I think I should make a good pitch to them in a PowerPoint, because we also have good spacing. We have plenty of, you know, people who are big Chicago fans. I mean, Chicago fans are like the best sports fans other than Boston were some of the best sports fans so having you know Chicago hats it would be a huge advantage for them of course we're not a you know Chicago area location we're not on the mag mile but you know suburbs is a good place to start off with so that's my big pitch I want a hat club in Mount Prospect so write me in April 2nd if you have a Mount Prospect address so I'd appreciate that. So that's what I'm, I've been doing uh, lately. So uh, until April 2nd, my videos will be a little scattered kind of-ish, but we'll see what we can do. So uh, thanks for the patience, guys, class. And uh, no matter what, go look at your municipal elections this upcoming April or March or whenever it is, because your municipal elections do count a lot more than you think it does. You know, we're talking about development, uh, Taxes going up, maybe. Well, they're not actually going up, but, you know, down the road. But, you know, municipal elections are just as important as presidential elections. So look up your local municipal elections. Get informed. Get involved. All right? Go vote.
Have a good day, class. Class dismissed.